evil soul ties. Soul ties. It's just like a soul tie is when you um, imagine you went to Las Vegas. Las Vegas. You know, like I heard that Las Vegas is where prostitution is, right? And you go to Las Vegas. Uh, you see, the people that die, that will die easily are those that even are, are, are holy or that, that have been running away from it, but they fell into it. Foolishly. Imagine you traveled to Cape Town and you met a prostitute in Cape Town. And that prostitute have traveled to US, to India, to Europe for prostitution. You don't even know the history of this prostitute. You don't know how many people this woman has slept with. You don't know the spirits that this woman is carrying. And you join yourself to her. Because when you have sex with her, you've had a soul tie. You're in a covenant with her. And when such a thing happens, you are not only dealing with her spirits, you are dealing with the demons that she had joined herself with. Remember me saying that? It's more or less like, instead of dealing with 10 demons, those 10 demons are linked to another 20 from the other man that he slept with. And then that other man is linked to another 50. So there is a high level of infiltration in your bloodline. You've been infiltrated. You, in fact, your blood has been, you know, you know, uh, uh, cursed. I warn you, a warning. If you want your company to prosper, if you want your endeavors to prosper, avoid sexual entanglements. Whatever you're doing in life, avoid sexual what? except you have signed up with Satan. Re remember, men who, you, you, you may say, Pastor John, how, I know people, I know very rich people who, who are doing it, and they're very rich, and they're very okay. These rich people are Satan themselves. Some of them have sold their souls. The only thing they have on earth is sex, money. That's all they have. They know that their souls are gone. They're heading to hell and they're proud of where they're going. You are not part of them. You are not one of them. You are different. Are you hearing me? You are on a different course. You are on a different road. You are on a different lane. Hallelujah, sons of God. Somebody say, I am different. In the name of Jesus. Say it again, I am different. Let me tell you a story, a real story. In 2010, just about, um, a month after our church started, somewhere here in Vortical a very small home that can take up to probably 200 people. I was in the office. A lady, a young lady, a young lady of probably, I would say she's uh, maybe in her mid-20s, 25, 26, 27, around that age. She walked into my office. I mean, she came into the hall. I said, where is Pastor John? She even called me by name. I thought she was a member or a newly person that attended the services. I didn't know that she was an agent of darkness sent from the sea, Dobbin. She came from Dobbin Sea. <laughs> Source of God, that was my, my, my the, the, the worst experience I've ever had in my ministry. So she said that she needs prayer. That's okay. You know, that's when I started ministry. He's just two months young. 
a month and you know i was you know when you're new in something you know you said you want to pray for everybody to get them to church you know you want growth in church i was doing that by zeal so i didn't discern by the spirit that this lady was not a human yes wasn't even a human it was, it was a, a serpent oh god me i got myself into trouble in 2010 the moment I stretched my hand to pray, she I've never heard such a scream in my lifetime. The kind of sound that came, she went on the floor, boom, was going like a snake. So while I was stretching my hands right from here, died. I had stroke immediately. My heart, I had heart attack. Oh God. Sons of God, I have never experienced that in my life. Here, I had stroke instantly. The stroke me stroke. He had died straight away. This hand died. My heart was, was burnt. You know this heart failure? I didn't know what was happening. My saliva. I didn't know what was happening. So what I did was I stayed away from her. I ran away. The man of God ran away. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm not kidding. Have you not heard me tell this story before? I've told it many times. I will never forget it. I, ran, I, I said Jesus wept. I, I, so what I did was I stayed away from her. So I had to use my left hand to lay hand on my right and I pray in the name of Jesus. I pray, 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 pray. pray. So life started to come. Life started to come. And then my, my hand was restored. Try when I look at my hand. I know this. <laughs> that was when I became, the, the, the joy that I had. I thought I have had stroke. I said, Lord, this is it. That's the end of this thing. Because how can the next Sunday, Pastor Johnny is not coming this way. <laughs> People will come back and say, I don't know this pastor. Because I was just a month and that would have been a big slap. Oh my God. So after I had recovered, now nah, that was when I now inquired of the Lord. You know, before we, we, we have to. Pastors, please don't jump into everything. It's not everybody that says, pray for me. You just go and stretch your hands on, on their hands. No, 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 no. Sometimes you must inquire of the Lord. Or maybe my authority level then was still, I was still coming up. Because that was when I started the ministry. I've seen all kinds of things. Actually, I've seen powers. But that one. I didn't know what rank that spirit was. <laughs> that was why I'm warning you. This I'm speaking by experience because sometimes you, you want to run with letter and you go and kill yourself. Listen to men that have what? Experience. Please, I beg you. You see, th there's no faith you think you have that we, we've never had. Listen, there is something fathers have that you must respect. Men that have gone ahead of you and have gone through experiences, have gone through things, and they conquered those things, please humble yourself. Better you don't go through the troubles and learn by experience. Please, I beg you. I'm pleading with you. So when I said, Lord, what happened? I said, praying. The Holy Spirit spoke to me audibly. He said, for well, this is not a human. So why the spirit was speaking to me, the, the, the demons, I am the python, the spirit in the Ben Ocean. This was speaking. I was sent to come and destroy you. Imagine a month and few weeks Satan sent an agent to kill me. 
You know what was trying to stop this moment? Amen. You see what the future, then we were, just 10 people. So the devil saw the future. It's just like the life of Jesus when he was one day young or two, just on a few days, Herod plotted to kill Jesus. Satan wanted to kill Jesus. So Satan knows there was something big in the way, in the future. So when the Lord said, you should not have prayed for her, she's not a human, but she took a human form. Let me tell you, not everything that looks like human in the streets are humans. Wake up. There are demons in human bodies that are in the plane with you, in the car with you, in the offices with you, in the streets, even in this church right now. Not everybody that is here now is a human. There are people sent from the marine that came. You know that we, we put up a service, deliverance from what? Marine. Marine is also here. They, they come to such services to cast their spell. They do. <laughs> so, when God said, she's, she's not a, if she was a human, I would have cast the spirit out. But this is not a human being. It's just a demon that, in, that, 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 that came with a human body. You know, demons can become humans. They can turn into a human, just like angels take a human form. Angels are spirits, but they can take a human what form to come on earth to interact with people. Demons can also do that. There are certain kind of demons that can take human forms. Let me confirm that. In, 19, in 1994, when I was in the high school, and I, I was, you know, I converted the entire school. I prayed for that community. I stood for that community. Oh God, wherever I was as a young man, I, I took over. So there was a time, it wasn't easy to break through in that community where my school is. So. I entered into seven days fasting and prayer. It wasn't enough. I didn't prevail. I entered seven again. And then I completed the fasting to 21 days, praying for the community and the school. And then in the last night of that, my fasting and prayer, the Lord took me into a vision. Uh, he took me into a, into a road, the major road of that community. In the center of that road, I saw it's like in that center something opened. The, the, the road opened. It's, it, it, I was like, what's, what's, what's happening? It's, it's, it was as though that, that particular section of the road was a gate. It was, it was a door leading into the spirit realm, into the underworld. So when I stood in that section and, and I was watching, the road started to split into two. And then I was watching. Suddenly, I saw a snake and two fishes coming out from that pit of hell, from that underworld. The moment their head came out as a snake, then they came out, boom, the entire body, turned, I mean, the entire snake body turned to a beautiful woman. They came out. One snake and two fishes came out. The moment they came out of that underworld, they became humans and entered into the community. So I said, what? 
God said, that point is a gate of hell in that community. So I marked it. I knew exactly where the gate of hell was. And I also knew that there were demons that were coming out of the pit of hell and took human forms. And then they went into the communities to attack, seduce, influence, manipulate, kill, and destroy the people that live in that community. So now God has said, enter another warfare to change the spirits and to stand against the gate of hell. Sir, listen, listen to this. Go now, lift your hands up. God will show you the gate of hell in your family. <laughs> listen, remember, I entered 21. I went to the first. I didn't see it. I didn't prevail. Went into another seven days. Listen, I'm not here to, to, to tell you, uh, go, uh, open to the book of uh, Matthew 10, 20, God, you know, we read and I, I just preach. That's, I'm here to teach you spiritual things. My prayer and victory became accurate when I saw the vision. 